Well, as you know, the COAP trial has been the most important trial of uh, last year, evaluating uh, the outcomes of uh, percutaneous mitral valve repair in patients with secondary or functional MR and compare the outcomes of percutaneous repair with CLIP versus medical treatment alone. And the benefit was very important at two years in terms of reduction of mortality and reduction of uh, rehospitalization rate. So there was a robust finding. And what the data was presented today it was the echo analysis of the baseline echo findings as well as the echo findings at uh, one month and progressive echo findings up to two years. And what they found is that um, both ejection fraction and left ventricular dimensions continue to get worse in both groups, medical treatment versus uh, percutaneous repair with mitral clip. But the rate of deterioration in patients who receive the device or the mitral clip was lower. So the speed of uh, worsening of ejection fraction, well, that was probably not as, as much the difference, but uh, the dilations or the left ventricular dimensions, uh, those were less pronounced in patients who were treated with the mitral clip compared with medical treatment alone. And then they tried to look at predictors of uh, a baseline uh, echo who would uh, get better clinical outcome at two years. And what they found is, uh, Mitral regurgitation, tricuspid regurgitation, those were important predictors, ejection fraction as well. So those are kind of uh, expected. From an interventional perspective, I'm an interventional cardiologist, what I would need is I need to understand better who is going to benefit from this therapy. As an interventional cardiologist, doing a mitral clip in a functional MR patient, maybe or is actually usually less technically challenging than mitral regurgitation than primary mitral regurgitation in primary mr you have non central jets multiple jets is more challenging and in the in the us uh, the operators have been using mitral clips since 2013 in primary mr so we have learned to work with a more challenging anatomy so to transition to functional mr from the technical point of view is going to be simple for us it's like when you learn to drive in an old car with manual transmission, and then you get a new car, and it's automatic transition is just so easy. It's an easy transition. Doesn't work backwards. So same thing here, we learn to work with a more challenging anatomy. We can transition to a functional MR anatomy that's easier, usual central jets, usual single jets. We can do that. The main question is, who are the patients who are going to do better? clinically from the echo parameters, you know, in terms of uh, less worsening of uh, left ventricular dysfunction, and also who's going to feel better, who's going to uh, have better symptom improvement and quality of life. So I think that still needs to be defined better and we need to know more about that.